This is First Coast News on your side. Empathy, attention, active listening. They are skills we're taught as children, but not ones we typically associate with police. But that is now changing. Law enforcement around the country beginning to embrace policies designed to avoid conflict and prevent crisis. And not just for political reasons, but for practical ones as well. First Coast News investigative reporter tonight, Haley Harrison, is on your side, taking a closer look at what tactics our local officers use and why. All eyes are on the badges. Law enforcement, the focus of protests. No and allegations of excessive force. <laughs> it's making agencies around the country examine how officers act and react. Joe, I'm mad. What can we do to help you tonight, Joe? Including using de-escalation tactics to prevent these tense situations. Can you let us help you? From turning violent. Florida, along with 33 other states, does not require officers to undergo de-escalation training. Please, I need you to calm down. Jeff Golden has spent the last two decades teaching officers how to calm a crisis situation. But their physical body language is not actually asking them, it's telling them. He says the strategies can be as simple as listening before you speak and matching your words with your body language. The last thing anybody wants is to be commanded or to be controlled. Which take your pistol out, stays out. And yet, command and control is the mentality officers take away from police academy 17 rounds. and basic training. The vast majority of the training has to deal with defensive tactics, weapons training, law training. Yet what's the first thing that every officer has to do in a situation or an encounter with a person? Listen and talk to them. He says the main reason officers don't know how to de-escalate is because they're not taught to. De-escalation, you know, it happens a hundred times a day. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Police Academy Director T.J. Cox says incoming officers get 44 hours of communication training and a total of 480 hours of academy. So we respond to over a million calls a year. And out of those million calls, you know, you, you very rarely hear about, you know, 999,000 of them because they've been de-escalated. They've been handled without any violence. It took off in January of 2017 and we had six shootings one a month my first six months here that was more shootings than I had in 10 years in Daytona Beach I don't think right now anybody thinks that you've done anything wrong Volusia County Sheriff Michael Chitwood says in 2017 we don't want to cause you any distress he began requiring 40 hours of de-escalation curriculum and his deputies basic training Sheriff Chitwood says a key tactic his department uses is time distance and cover which essentially means to give an upset person some space so that they're comfortable and use that verbal or de-escalation communication to buy some time. Will you come out and talk to me? Sheriff Chitwood Why says not? the culture switch Why has been effective and the positive results Fine. are in the numbers. From 2016 to 2019, the agency's total use of force incidents and injuries to officers dropped by 50%. Even crime dipped by 40%, total arrests by 25%. Sheriff Chitwood believes the only way American police culture can change is from the bottom up. Every day they get to see the culture, they get to live the culture. I can shift us from this guard to this warrior mentality to a guardian mentality. In Jacksonville, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.